Hi you guys, I'm on a three day trip in the Snowdon mountain range and I thought I'd run through my gear with you. So my base weight for this trip has been 9.6 kilos. That's not super light by any means, but it is light out by my standards. So I've changed a lot of things since I last did one of these videos around this time last year. Let's have a look. Firstly, my trekking poles. These are Faisan and these are 158 grams each. And I'm gonna use one of these to put my tent up. My rucksack is a Juta 60 plus 10 liters. It's considerably lighter than my last rucksack, Big Blue, and I absolutely love it. There are so many compartments for everything, loads of space. It's really, really really comfortable as well and very supportive so you can get lighter rucksacks but for me the support is really important so yeah loving the rucksack my tent is a Lanshan Pro 1 it's a single skin tent really light and I'm going to use a trekking pole to put it up so let's pop that up now so I've got the footprint to go with this tent as well because the base is quite thin trekking pole goes in This is easier when you aren't doing it in wind. That's the tent up, it's by no means perfect. It's a bit lumpy bumpy here and I am still learning it, but I really love it so far, really light. Lots of room in here, good headroom as you can see. Being single skin, it is prone to condensation. So I've just brought with me a little sponge that I can wipe down the inside with. And I like to bring a little peg just to make a bit more room there. You can see the view a bit better. I've not actually tried this in wind yet. So looks like it'll be getting tested tonight. I put off getting a trekking pole tent for ages because I just didn't feel like it'd be sturdy enough. But honestly, this feels well sturdy. It's really good. This tent does require seam sealing as well. I have had a go at that. I don't think I've done a very good job and I might have to do it again. I've not used it in heavy rain yet, so we'll have to see how it does. Hello, you guys. Swinging by from the future. I've just spent a night in this tent in pouring rain and it is letting a bit of water in. A lot of water in that corner. I don't know if it's because I haven't seen Seal do it properly, so I'm gonna have a proper go at the seam sealing, do a bit of a better job at it, and um, try it again, I guess. So that's the tent. I've got the same old foil foam mat that I just put down as like a little carpet, and that's something nice to sit on or lay on, and it also protects my mat from the ground as well. God, I feel it's trying to take off. Sleeping mat, I'm using a Neo Air Thermarest X Light. I was using the Neo Air Thermarest excellent before which is absolutely amazing it's got a much higher r value than this i think the r value on this one is four so yeah really loving this it's smaller half the way i've not felt cold on it at all but i have been using it only in spring not winter ah! come back next up sleeping bag i've got my sleeping bag in an expert dry bag i've got lots of expert dry bags now that i put all my stuff in and they've been really really great kept everything perfectly dry my sleeping bag is the rab ascent 900 it's the same bag that I was using the last time I did one of these videos a year ago. And I still absolutely love it. It keeps me snugly warm, below minus, everything really. It's brilliant. And then because this tent is so prone to condensation, I've also got a Rab Survival Zone light bivy bag. So this is a really light bivy bag. It goes over my sleeping bag so that it doesn't get wet if it touches the edge of the tent. And also I think in the mountains, it's a good idea to have one of these anyway, just in case something goes really wrong, like your tent goes flying off or, you know, God forbid, you've got something to put over your sleeping bag so that you can make a little shelter. So cozy, right. Hi guys, me from the future again. The bottom of my sleeping bag is a bit damp, so the bivy bag didn't entirely do its job. Let's let some water in through here. Yeah. Not waterproof, unfortunately. To finish off my sleep system, I have my trusty Trekology Aloft Deluxe pillow. I've been using this pillow for about a year now and I absolutely love it. It's a lovely little bit of comfort. It's never gone down. Stick that on. And this has got a strap at the back as well that just holds it on your mat, which is really handy. So it's not skidding all over the place when you're trying to sleep. So that's my sleep system sorted. Let's have a look at everything else. So firstly, I've got my little sit mat, cheap and cheerful. Just keeps my bum toasty. In here, I've got my water filter. So my filter is a Soya Squeeze Mini. Absolutely love it. I also have a little scratchy sponge thing to clean my pan. Oh, and this, this is one of these little things that I just love. It's a little running cup from Decathlon in the running section. And this is 10 grams. And it's just great to use as a scoop for water. You know, when you haven't got like a flow of water to fill up the bag, so you need to scoop water and pour it in. That's what I use that for. I mean, 10 grams, love that. I've also got water purification tablets just in case I need to drink something really nasty but 
generally Snowdonia, you don't need to. I also have my water bladder, that's from Decathlon as well. It's a two litre and I've had it for ages and it's never popped or leaked or done anything bad, really like that. These are amazing actually. I love being able to just drink as you walk in and not have to stop and get stuff out your bag, you know. I do also bring a bottle with me and I use that at camp. So during the day when I'm hiking, I use the water bladder and at camp in the evenings, it's just nicer and easier to use a bottle. So I like to bring both. This is also useful as well because if my filter bag broke or split, I can filter water using a bottle instead. So that's all the water stuff. My electronics. So again, I've got all my electronics in a dry bag. So I've got a power bank. This is an anchor power core. Charges all my stuff for three days. A little head torch. That's from Decathlon. Love that. It's quite light. It's got a red light on it. It's got USB charging as well, so I can charge it on the go. So this here is my toiletries bag. So I've got another one of those little cups. That's to brush my teeth at night. I wear a retainer as well, so it helps me to clean that properly. I've got a load of girly stuff in here, like a little mirror. Sleep mask, just a cheapy one. But when the sun's coming up at like two in the morning and stuff, <laughs> you need a sleep mask. Earplugs, in case I need them. I don't often use them because I like to be able to hear stuff really. Tissues, toothpaste, so a little bamboo toothbrush with half the handle cut off, so that saves about half a gram. Some talc in there in case my feet get wet. I don't want to have wet feet at camp. I'm gonna dry them off. Tweezers, teeny weeny nail file. If you're not breaking nails when you're in Snowdonia, you're doing it wrong. Got a little brush here. I just took that out of a little compact brush thing. It does the job. Baby wipes and a little toilet trowel, 17 grams. This is a bag of three days of rubbish. No one wants to see that. This is my laundry bag of undies and that that have been worn way too many times. No one wants to see that either. And I'm using as a pack line at one of these. And I thought, oh, it's so thin. That won't last five minutes, but I'm pretty rough with my stuff. And I've been out with this for three days and it's not got a hole in it anywhere. So yeah, that's really cool. Using that and then with all my stuff in dry bags, nothing's gonna get wet. And I actually haven't been using a rain cover on my bag because I don't need to. My food bag which is getting empty now because my trip's nearly over. This is all like jerky and super noodles and porridge and chocolate and stuff like that. My stove fits in this teeny tiny bag now. I'm so pleased because it was quite big before and now it's quite small. Tokes 700 mil titanium pan, which I absolutely love. It's just the perfect size for noodles, porridge and coffee and things like that. So that's great. It's so light. A little canister of gas. I used to take the really big, big ones because I was paranoid it's going to run out. This hasn't shown any signs of running out. I've been using it for, well, it's on a third day now and it's fine. Taito titanium spoon. I think that's like 14 grams or something. Lighter, a little pot stand. That just goes on there. Less likely to knock your dinner over. And my stove itself, which is just amazing. I mean, this is the same stove I was using in the last video. And even then I'd been using it for years, I think. It's just a little folding stove, cheapy one. That, ah. it's just an amazing little stove. I love it. And it folds down into that. So that's cool. So that's me cook set, nice and easy. Oh, I've also got, I keep a little spare set of matches just in case in a little waterproof thingamajiggy. So in here's my camp clothes. So this is my down puffy, it's from Decathlon. Absolutely love this down puffy. This is also the same one I was using last time I did one of these videos and still good as new. I've got some merino wool bottoms for bedtime. Floofy socks for a camp. This is just a thin long sleeve top to wear at camp. And I've got a little cap as well. Just a little hiking cap. So that's all my lovely clothes ready for later. In here, God, it's so much stuff, isn't it? It's a wonder it all fits in these little rucksacks. I've got my amazing water shoes. I have loved these this weekend. They've been incredible for crossing rivers, for having a little swim in a river or a lake, just protects your feet and sort of non-slippy as well. And they've been drying really fast. So when I use these and they get wet, they've got little things at the end. So I just attach them to my rucksack and then they dry during the day. I've got a tiny weeny little microfiber towel. That's just for drying myself off when I go in rivers and stuff like that. Or you could use that for the inside of your tent. And I've got a spare set of undies here. This is what I use as swimwear when I go for a wild swim or a little dip. I just find that they're a bit lighter than actual swimwear and dries faster as well. These are my waterproofs. I'm wearing the bottoms now. This is the jacket. So these are, I don't know if you pronounce it OMM, or O-M-M, but 
They're the ladies waterproofs. Look, they've got thumb holes. No oh, thumb holes. They're really, really light. These were the lightest waterproofs I could find actually. I've not actually used these in rain yet. This is my first trip with them, but they are extremely light. They're great for keeping ticks off your legs when you're walking through long grass, and they're great at keeping the wind off. Hey, future me again. Done a couple of miles in the waterproofs in the rain, and they're not letting any water in. So initial thoughts are that they work. I've got a couple of these little bungee things. They're great if you want to strap stuff to the outside of your rucksack. Really light and tiny. Same old cheapo sunglasses. A tiny bug net, which I've not had to use actually. But if it was buggy and sunny, I'll be fine. Also, I've got a couple of hand warmer sachets. They're great to just chuck in your sleeping bag on a cold night. But again, it's been quite warm, so I've not needed those. But they're nice to have just in case. And I've got a spare set of shoelaces because on a recent trip, my shoelaces broke. And also just never know when you might need a bit of cordage or something. Med kit in this one, got a couple of plasters, pain relief, alcohol wipes, a little latex glove. And I've got my repair stuff in here as well, like puncture repair stuff. Yay! Yeah. So that's everything in my rucksack. I've got a Garmin. This is the InReach Mini and I'm absolutely loving this. Just for peace of mind, it means that if I don't have reception, which I often don't, I can text loved ones, let them know I'm okay. And of course, if I'm in an emergency situation and I need rescuing, I can contact the emergency services. And it tells me exactly what elevation I'm at and where I am as well. So in my waste bag, it's mostly filming stuff, but apart from that, I've also got some alcohol, hand gel, lip balm, map and compass, survival whistle. So that's it guys, that's all the stuff I took with me for this trip. It's been an amazing trip. So if you haven't seen the trip itself yet, check on the link up here. Hopefully you'll really enjoy it because I have loved it. So thank you so much for watching this little gear video and I'll see you again soon. Bye.